Reading View is a way in PowerPoint for you to show your slides in slideshow mode, but within the PowerPoint window. All the animations work, all the transitions work, even including the morph transition, and you can also use links on the slides. So this is a slide zoom link that takes us from this graph to the backup data, and then using our upper arrow to just come back. So you have almost all the functionality of slideshow mode, but it's running the slides within the PowerPoint window. You'll notice that there are these small bars on the bottom and top, which is part of the PowerPoint window. And so those are visible and you'll notice uh, mine are less prominent because I'm using the dark gray office theme, just makes them a little less prominent. You can make this window as big or as small as you need. So I've got it fairly large on my screen right now, but I can make it smaller if I need to. Notice if the window is not the same aspect ratio as the slide, you see these black bars, either top and bottom, or if I make this wider, they're on the left and right side. So I usually recommend that we size our PowerPoint window so that the slides don't have those black bars showing at the top and bottom or left and right of the slide. You can show your slides using Reading View in a Teams or Zoom meeting by sharing that window. So when you're going to sharing, I'm using Teams here, I'll go to Window, and then I can select the PowerPoint window. And that's now being shared in the meeting with everybody. And by making it smaller on your screen, what you can do is you can now also position the meeting controls off to the side. And if you wanted to open up a chat, I don't have uh, anybody else in the meeting for this meeting, so it doesn't show me the chat, but you can open up any of the other windows. This is the same position as a chat window would be in Teams. And I can have my slides on one side. I can have my Teams interface on the other side. And it makes it easy to be able to see the chat that's going on at the time or take whatever controls you want in that Teams meeting. This is one of the really good reasons to use the Reading View in PowerPoint, especially if you only have one screen, as I do in this setup that I'm using right now. You can also have Reading View beside a PDF of your speaking notes so that you can see those notes. And again, if you're just sharing the PowerPoint window in your virtual or hybrid meeting, all the audience sees, the attendees see your slides only, but you can see your notes and your slides at the same time. There are three ways to enter Reading View within PowerPoint. The first is on the View ribbon. On the View ribbon, there's an icon right here, a button for Reading View. And when you click on that, it puts it into Reading View, but it will always start with just the first slide. It will never be able to start in the middle of your presentation, and then you can go through it as I'm doing here. So that's option number one. Option number two is to use the Reading View icon in the lower bar in PowerPoint. You'll notice it's the same icon here. It looks like an open book, and you would you put your cursor over, it says Reading View. Now the advantage here is, when I click on it, it puts me into Reading View on the slide that I am currently on. So this is the way to start into Reading View when you are on a slide in the middle of your presentation and you want to start at that slide, sharing them with your attendees. The third option for entering Reading View is to actually set that up as the default slideshow mode. So on the slideshow ribbon, I'm going to go to the item here, Set Up Slideshow. In the show type at the top, the default is presented by a speaker full screen, which is what makes the slideshow go the full screen when you put it into slideshow mode. But we can change it here to browsed by an individual window. And when we save that setting by clicking OK, now on the slideshow ribbon, when we say from current slide, put it into slideshow and current slide, it will start in reading view. So it allows us to use both the from beginning and from current slide buttons here on the slideshow ribbon, and also their shortcut keys. So you'll notice here in the tooltip, F5 for starting from the beginning, and Shift F5 for starting from this slide. So those are the three ways that you can get into Reading View 
from the normal editing view in PowerPoint, either through the view ribbon, the reading view icon, down at the bottom bar, our reading view item here, the little button here, or changing the slideshow setup in the slideshow ribbon so that the from beginning and from the current slide work to put it into reading view instead of full screen slideshow view. In reading view, there are a couple of items on the right click menu that are very valuable. So I'm going to move my cursor anywhere on the slide. I'm going to right click and I will see a list of options come up. And the first one is to be able to jump to any slide. So you'll notice here the go to slide option. It allows me to put my cursor there and it shows me all of the titles for the slides in my presentation. It allows me to quickly jump to any one of them by simply clicking on it. I also have the go to section. So if you've divided your PowerPoint file into sections using that feature of PowerPoint, you will see each of the sections listed and you can jump to any of those sections simply by clicking on it and then you go right to that section in your presentation. So it's a great way to jump ahead or backwards in your presentation as needed. The second great feature of the right click menu in the reading view is the zoom in option. So when I right click, I also have this option here, zoom in. So you can either click on it or just hit the Z key on your, or Z key on your keyboard. And when you do, it shows you a clear rectangle, which is one quarter the size of your slide. And the rest of the slide is grayed out. And I can move my mouse and I can move this rectangle. And what happens is I move the rectangle. And when I click my mouse button, it zooms in on that portion of the screen. So this is a really good technique to use when you're trying to explain, let's say, a complex visual like I am with this complex diagram. I can show the entire diagram for context. And I can use the zoom in function to zoom in on just a portion of it. You'll notice the cursor has now changed to the hand cursor. This allows me to grab the slide and move the portion of the slide that's shown in this zoomed in window. So it allows me to pan across the slide as I am explaining it section by section to my attendees. And I can go through that one by one, section by section to talk about each of those parts. When I'm done, I simply press the escape, escape key to go back to the full screen view of the slides and I can continue on with the presentation. Another way to be able to jump between slides is to actually switch between views using the buttons in the lower bar in the PowerPoint window. One of the options you have is to use the slide sorter view. So if I'm in the reading view and I want to go and jump to another slide, I can simply click on the slide sorter view. It then shows me all of my slides as thumbnails and it organizes them in sections if you have it organized in sections. So if I want to jump ahead to, uh, let's say this graph here, I can simply click on it, select that slide, and then click the reading view button in that lower bar. And I jump into reading view on that slide. So it's another option for switching between slides when you're using reading view. To exit reading view, you can use the escape key like you would in slideshow mode. I can just press the escape key and I exit out into the view that I was on. So I was on slide sorter view. I can also use the normal view here to switch back to the normal view. So you have the option to either just press the escape key and go back to whatever view you were in or use the view buttons down along the bottom here of the PowerPoint window to be able to switch out of reading view into either slide sorter or the normal editing view. So add reading view in your toolbox when you're presenting, especially in virtual and hybrid meetings, and especially when you have only one screen as I've been using in this video. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.